I could not be more pleased that President Obama and Secretary Donovan have chosen Portland and here at Portland State University to announce this new initiative for livability. I'm only sorry I could not be with you in person, but I checked with President Obama and Speaker Pelosi. They both thought it was a better idea if I was here in Washington voting to increase the debt limit so that this and other government operations don't come grinding to a halt. Portland and its university have been the epicenter of this national movement for two decades. As someone who went to Congress, focused on livable communities, this represents the single most significant development for our issue that I've seen in federal policy for 13 years. The unprecedented cooperation between HUD, the Department of Transportation, and EPA is backed up with the President's budget request. It contains funding for planning grants, supports work we've championed with pre-disaster mitigation through FEMA, and smart transportation infrastructure. All will save money and leverage new investment. The Secretary visited us earlier this year to better understand the Portland model. He's already met with our Livable Communities Task Force and impressed members of Congress with his insight and commitment. The selection of Shelley Patisha, someone many of us in Oregon have worked with for years, is very exciting. We know, admire, and respect Shelley. I can't imagine a better person to head the program. This new initiative will harness the forces at work across the country and make the federal government a better partner in helping achieve our goals of livability, making our families safer, healthier, and more economically secure. Please accept my congratulations for this critical step forward. I look forward to working with you, Mr. Secretary, and with Secretary LaHood, EPA Administrator Jackson, and people throughout the Obama administration in realizing the promise of livable communities.